So hello everybody, Driven by Moss 26.2 is out and it brings new features for the Push 3 for which many people have been waiting for. So you can now pitch band which is sensitive to the currently selected scale. That's great. <laughs> it's a bit tricky to configure in Bitwig and I still have some questions about this, but let me show you how you can do it. I'm not fully sure if the method to configure MPE with Bitwig works correctly. So I ask Bitwig about that. So there might be upcoming changes to that, but currently it works that the push sends out a sensitivity of plus minus 24 semitones. And to make this work with a native plugin like Polysynth, you need to select first the channel to have the same so that all different pitch band messages, because with MPE you have 15 nodes and for each of these nodes you can send specific pitch band modifications. And to make this work, you need to select same here. And also what I needed to do is enable expression and to set this to minus 24 and plus 24. And with a VST3 you can do the same or alternatively you can select here the plugin and then if you enable MPE also set here the pitch band range to plus minus 24. If you enable expression here, as in the other example, also set it to minus 24 and 24, and then the setting of the device has absolutely no effect. And this works for sure also with all other scales and bass notes. So let's say we want to have a minor. And finally, with a clap plugin, you don't have to configure anything here. Strangely, there is a label which does not give you anything here. But nevertheless, so with clap plugins, you do the same. You set this here to same and the expression to minus 24 and plus 24, and then it's working. As well. And another thing that is new here is that you can also set the sensitivity now of the pad because there was also a change in push 3 compared to push 2. And here you also get now a nice graphic which illustrates what you have selected. So currently the curve looks like that. And with push 3 there's a new parameter, the threshold. So the threshold is how hard you have to press a key till it makes a sound at all. So you can increase this a lot and you can also reset that if you keep the delete button pressed and simply touch the encoder and it will reset that to the default value. Also you can set the drive which is here how fast the curve goes up and the compound is how fast it goes inside or outside and the range is how fast the maximum velocity kicks in. So if you have to have to press it too heavy, then you can do a setting like this and then it full velocity kicks in pretty early. Also, these settings can be reset by touching the knob by keeping the delete button pressed. And being added, I also added a little curve drawing to the push too. So you also see there now how the envelope looks. The parameters are named a bit different, but basically it's uh, the last three settings you have on a push too.
Let's also have a look how MPE works with Reaper because there you need to configure it a bit differently. So here is Reaper and in Reaper I loaded up Search XT which is MPE compatible and you need to enable MPE to make this work. And with this also you need to configure the pitch band sensitivity to plus minus 24 and the setting is a bit hidden. You need to right click on the MPE button and there you can change the MPE pitch band range which I already did change to 24 and there's also a default setting which will keep it always to 24 so you can change that as well. And then you can play in Reaper also with MPE. You simply need to enable the record and also make sure all channels are enabled and then you can also play it in Reaper. Yay! <laughs> so have much fun with that and until next time make some funky music. <laughs> <laughs>